You want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, the elders of elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the uh, sincere brothers, the, the laborers out there, okay? And, uh, basically, we're going to get into the spirit, you know, which is pretty much uh, like an open forum, but we know we got a, a one specific topic we want to get into, you know, uh, talking about uh, the spirit of uh, Baliyah, uh, okay? And uh, basically, when you look up the word Baliyah, in the Hebrew is uh, Bala Ya'ayl, Bala Ya'ayl, which uh, when you look it up in the blue letter, it uh, means worthlessness. However, when you do the, uh, when you go into the details of the Hebrew, it, it, it means to pretty much to be self-centered, all right, I mean, to be uh, all about yourself, all right, you got some enough. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 13 and uh, I'm going to start at uh, 12. It says, if thou shalt hear, say in one of thy cities, which the Lord thy power have given thee to dwell there, to dwell there, say, certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, let us go and serve other gods which ye have not known. Then shalt thou inquire and make search and ask diligently. And behold, if it be true and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought among you, thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of that city. Because you know what it is pretty much. Uh, when, you, when, when our people go serve other gods, they're being self-centered. They're worthless. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, part, the sole purpose of Israel was to, to be in the image of the heavenly Father. All right? Now, when you have our people, they go out and they just want to go serve other gods. They're, they're being self-centered. They're just being all about themselves. Because at the end of the day, when someone goes off in the nation, it, it reflects everyone else. All right? So, it's showing you what, what serving these other gods does on a spiritual note. You know, go back to that. And, and there's a consequence for that. that that's actually... Go ahead, brother. Okay, it says... Um Okay, it says on verse 13, it says, Certain men, the children of uh, Bilal, are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, mm -hmm. which ye have not known. Then shalt thou inquire and make search and ask diligently. And behold, if it be true, then the thing certain that such abomination is wrought among you, thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, Destroying it utterly and all of that is therein. That's another reason America has to be destroyed because it's, it's uh, being possessed, okay, uh, in, in its possession, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, servants of a different God, Baliyah, which is just worthlessness, you know. And, 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 and in turn, when you're just worthless, you're considered fat, you know, and the scriptures tell you about what you're supposed to do with the fat. You know, you're supposed to trim the fat. You're actually supposed to burn the fat. All right. Keep on reading. Mm -hmm. It says, And the cattle thereof with the edge of the sword, verse yeah. 16, uh -huh. And thou shalt gather all the spoil of it into the midst of the street thereof, and shalt burn with fire yeah. the city and all the spoil thereof, every whit for the Lord thy power. And it shall be in heat forever. It shall not be built again. Right, exactly. So that's that's what's gonna happen. That that's exactly why America. <laughs> that that just explained America. Why 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 is America gonna be burnt and not inhabited again? Because this place is in the servants of Bali All right, it's worthless. This place here, America, is worthless. There's no foundation here. Nothing is firm here. Nothing is firm here. All right. I mean, you want what you want to talk about? Your job. You want to talk about uh, your car? You want to talk about your house? I don't care if you got a house or not. You got a house in the in the city that you live in. Says, guess what? We want to run a, a a highway a highway through here. Guess what? You got to get up out of there. I don't care how much uh, mortgage you paid. It doesn't matter because it doesn't belong to you. That land doesn't belong to you. You don't own anything. All right? Because it's not firm here. This place is worthless. Getting back on the topic, you know. And, 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 and two thirds of our people are worthless. So guess what? They're going to be burned. They're going to be met with the edge of the sword. And what's the edge of the sword? The modern day sword that the Lord is using is the ICBM missiles, the thermonuclear fire, man. 
which at the end of the day, that's what the script, that's what the, the judgment on that law was, was what to be for that for that place to be that was inhabited, all the cattle, everything that was inhabited to be burned in fire. When you burn things with fire, you you um <clears throat> you basically marking it. You basically saying it's a monument. And the word monument to means to remember. You're remembering, like, look, this is what we're not supposed to do. It's not. This is what we're not supposed to be. Got it. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah 13 and uh, 9. It says, Thus saith the Lord, after the manner will I mar the pride of Judah. Yeah, the word mar means to cut. So cut the pride, the, uh, the pride of Judah. Go ahead, bro. And the great pride of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, Shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. Yeah, good for nothing, worthlessness. Okay, and again, we go into that word Baliyal, you know, with that that God, you know, because everything is spiritual. Whether you say, it's not here. Whether you say that you're worshiping a certain God or you're not, if you're not serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh then you're serving another God. You could be atheist. You could be a Buddhist. You could be a, a, a whatever. You could be whatever. You could think that you're not human. You're serving another god. You know, you, you, you're into another deity. There's a spirit on you that that's possessing you from a, 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 a deity from the ancient world, because those deities, those spirits, they they live. They live. They live. In, they, and they, where, where they live is they reside in people. They reside in people's thoughts. So you have that thought. All right. That you want to serve another God, or you want to, and go. Let me. I'm gonna go further. I'm gonna go further. Dealing with Israelite camps out there, and GMS included. Now, if you think and you have in, in your mind that you know nobody can tell you what to do, or you know you just you you pretty much a renegade, but you just in an Israelite camp, then you're in the spirit of all Bali yourself. All right, because you have to answer to somebody. All right, unless you're the head of the camp, which even the head of the, everybody has to answer to somebody. Elder Tahar has to answer to somebody. All right, starting with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai has to answer to someone. All right, because that's that whole self-centered spirit. That, that whole self-centered spirit. That, that's not of Israel. That's not what Israel's about. Israel's not about being self-centered. It's about serving Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, this is um, quick, quick precept. This is uh, First Samuel's uh, two verse um, twelve. It says, "Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial; mm -hmm. they knew not the Lord." Mm -hmm. Then the priest, the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servant came while the flesh was in seat, seething, with a flesh hook of three of three teeth in his hand. Then he struck it into the pan. Or kettle, or cauldron, or pot—all that the flesh hook brought up, the priest took for himself. So they did in Shiloh unto all Israel, Israelites that came thither. Also, before they burnt the fat, the priest's servants came and said to the man that sacrificed, "Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will not have sodden flesh of thee, but raw." And if any man said unto him, let them not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take as much as thou so desireth. Then he would answer him, Nay, but thou shalt give it me now. And if, if and if now, I will take it by force. You must be going to go ahead. They basically they they weren't doing according to the you know according to the customs. Mm -hmm. They was doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. You know the priests um like it says uh the, the sons of Eli they were sons of Belial. They knew not of the Most High. They was doing their own thing. Um, yeah, because they were keeping certain parts of the fat, correct? They were keep, keeping certain. They were keeping certain parts that you weren't supposed to keep because in the law you supposed to uh, burn. You supposed to burn the fat. You are supposed to burn the fat and keep the and the, and the, uh, the high priest. The priest was supposed to get the, the the most goodliest parts, you know. But you wasn't supposed to keep the fat. The priest was supposed to burn the fat. I got another example mm -hmm. right here. This is uh, Acts, the fifth chapter, the verse 1. It says, But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price 
his wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostle's feet. Mm -hmm. But Peter said to Ananias, Why has Satan filled thy heart mm -hmm. to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land while it re remained? Was it not thy own? And after it was sold, was it not thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto Yahweh. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on all of them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. You know? Yeah, and basically Ananias and Sapphira, they held out, you know, they held out on, on the money, pretty much, all right? Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to say this too, uh, Baloo, you know, anybody that come up against the elders of GMS, the apostles of GMS, talking about you're not supposed to pay tights, and you're the spirit of Belzeal, okay? Because basically you're supposed to, you're supposed to give your tights, you know, because it's, it's, it's of your first, it's not about you. As a matter of fact, um... I got, check, I got precept. Go ahead. Uh, check. Uh, was it Deuteronomy Deut Deut sixteen? Okay. Uh, Cause everything that's first is supposed to go to the heavenly Father. You know, all of all of first to the cow. The, the, your first son is supposed to be dedicated to the heavenly Father. You know, is that it? I couldn't be wrong. Sacrifice the Passover. No, 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 no. That's not it. We'll get it later. It's all good. It's all good. I got, I got, I got one. Uh -huh. This is a. Uh, First Samuel's ten. Yeah, man. Everything is supposed to go. Everything first is supposed to go to the heavenly Father and His Son, man. All right. And you know what else too? You know what else is the spirit of uh, Bali y'all? Is um, <clears throat> is not going out and teaching. That's being self-centered. That's being worthless. You know, when you sitting on knowledge that you know that you have, and you and the people they're supposed to uh, you know they're supposed to receive it. You know, and you don't want to give it out. And you are the spirit of belly y'all. Anybody that's got this, that's sitting on this knowledge and not going out and teaching, you know, not doing videos, not doing shows, the spirit hit you with a, with a revelation, you're supposed to share it. That's why through the spirit, when we was out in the streets uh, this past Saturday, we was talking about the food, you know. When, when you got food, this brother, if I, if I got food and I know this brother hungry, and I ain't gonna, I'm not going to say and be like, awesome, like I'm just eating and, you know, Get your money up, and then you 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 eat on your own. It don't work like that. It don't work like that because the, the, the scriptures is spiritual food. If you got food and the people are hungry, that's what it says in um James the second chapter. Get that right quick. Hold, hold everything you got. Get James uh started like eleven. <clears throat> if a man be thirst uh uh, 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 uh nakedness. What did 11 say? For the sun, sooner risen. 2 and 11? 2, 2. Oh, 2, okay, okay. Come, come. What did it say? Let me see. Yeah, it started at 14. It's a <clears throat> yeah, This is uh, James 2 and 14. It says, What doth it profit, my brethren? For a man say he had faith, and had not works, right. can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Yeah, what doth it profit? You, you don't profit anything. You don't profit anything if you, if you if you got the food if you got the the, the clothes that's supposed to be given to the people because that's talking about spiritual food it's talking about spiritual clothes which is the scriptures which is the which is the comforter how you comfort yourself by eating and you know through the flesh you comfort your, your flesh by what eating by uh, 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 putting on clothes with the spiritual food and the spiritual clothes is the scriptures 
So you're in the spirit of Bali Yah if you if you you call yourself having this knowledge and not going out and teaching. You know, and there's plenty of other camps that's out there that's like that. There's plenty of other people that call themselves Israelites having a knowledge, what the knowledge that they do have, they don't even go out and teach. What do it profit? That's what the scriptures say, what do it profit? Meaning you're worthless. Going again to the to the definition of the, the word um <clears throat> Bali Yah. Uh, in the Hebrew is Bala Yael. Right? Meaning you, you're pretty much self centered. You're just all into yourself. You know? Alright, this is um this is uh first Samuel ten, I'm gonna start at twenty five. It says, Then Samuel told the people the manner of the kingdom and wrote it in a book mm -hmm. and laid it up before the Lord. And Samuel sent all the people away, every man to his house, and Saul also went home to Gibeah, and there went with him a band of men whose hearts Yahweh had touched. But the children of Belial said, How shall this man save us? And they despised him and brought him no presents, but he held his peace. Yeah, how shall this man save us? You know, that's, that's what, um, what two-thirds of our people say about the Lord. How shall this man save us? Because at that point in time, uh, Saul was in his right mind. He was saving uh, Israel from the Philistines. And the children of Belial, who had no faith, they said, How can this man save us? Who is he that's going to save us? You know, and that's the same condition that our people go through now. With the, when we talk about the Lord, uh, war is inevitable. Martial law is inevitable. But when the Lord, we tell the people that the Lord is going to come to save us, they, in their mind, they're saying, how can this man save us? You know? Uh, this is our Second Corinthians uh, 6 and, six and uh, 14. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Yahushua with Belial? Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? Yeah, with a non-believer, you know? Because a, a non-believer is self-centered. Because us being the believers, you know, we, we know it's not about us. But the, but the, the children of Belial, or, or, or Belial, then they're self-centered. They're, they're like, we don't need the Lord. We don't need the Lord. We, 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 we got it ourselves. That's why you talk to two-thirds. Yo, what you going to do when, two, when, when uh, martial law comes about? They go, oh, I'll get my guns. You know, I'm going to get my guns. I'm, oh, they got, they, got, uh, they got forts now for zombies. You know, that's why the scriptures say, uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath. You know, because when you get, when you, oh, going into that, because in Proverbs, what does it say? It says, um, Give me neither poverty or uh, no riches, mm -hmm. for fit, uh, and the scriptures say, for less that uh, I get riches and I forget you mm -hmm. and I forget thee, you know. So, so, so the scriptures say, be content in your situation, you know. So you're supposed to be content in in, in basically in your finances and in, in the way you live. You're supposed to be content with whatever the Lord gives you, because anything else is saying like, yo, look, I got this. I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it don't work like that. You know, the, 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 the elect know that they're just vessels of the Lord and we're just moving around just according to how the Lord deems us to move. Come, come, you're right. And, and it goes into that. And it says, And what agreement have the temple of Yahweh with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we, we, we're, we're, you said we're, we're the vessels. We're, we're the temple of the Lord. Right. When... The, when, when uh, <clears throat> When people see us on the streets, especially when people see these videos, they're supposed to remember the Lord. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to remember Yahweh Shai. You know? It says, As Yahweh have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, mm -hmm. and they shall be my people. Yeah, yeah. So showing, <clears throat> showing, the, the, showing the vessel aspect of it. You know? Read that again. It said, um, it says, uh, hold on, shall I? Mm -hmm. It says, um, and what agreement with the temple of Yahweh with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As Yahweh have said, I will dwell in them. I will dwell in them. That's a vessel. All right, go ahead. And walk in them. And I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Yeah, plain and simple. We're, we're the vessels of Yahweh Shai. You know, okay? So that's how you know we're not dealing with the spirit of Bala Yah, uh, by, by like your idol. You just say it like that. Cause that's the proper way to say it, you know. All right, yeah. Um, now get that example 